Welcome back YouTube. My name is Josh Kinney and in this tutorial we'll be going over property wrappers in Swift UI. So let's go ahead and begin. So real quick, I have a uh, project going and we're just going to be inside of this one file. So don't worry about anything else over here. This is just from other tutorials. Um, this Swift UI property wrapper view is all we need. So right now I already have a text that is passing in this number, which is 10. And you can see that there. Um, and then also I have a button that has a text called tap to change the number. And we are going to have a font of large title and then a padding. And that's all that I have done here. And I have not done the actual logic for the button yet. So let's go ahead and talk about this property wrapper. So what is a property wrapper and why do we need it? Well, in Swift, we have these structs, um, whereas, I'm sorry, in Swift UI, we have structs now in all of these views. Instead of UI kit, if you're coming from that side, uh, you saw a lot of class uh, or classes. So if you are working in a button, you know, you're probably going to be using a UI button or you're gonna be making a custom button that um, actually inherits from UI button and UI button actually inherits from UI view. So everything is actually um, using each other in UI kit, which that got, that got pretty uh, thick or large and slowed things down. So in this, essentially we have structs, a lot, light, uh, a lot less code making them lightweight. And those are now going to be what is basically building views and getting rid of views. So uh, saying that to say this, so these variables that are now inside these structs are immutable, meaning they cannot be changed. So let's say we have this 10 here, correct? And down here, when we tap this button, tap to change number, we want that number that is up here to equal 20 now instead. So typically you be okay, cool, let's go ahead and run that, but we're getting a failed. And it's saying, hey, we cannot assign property self as it's immutable, meaning any of your variables that you set here, you can't change them down here because they have to have some sort of state and the way Swift UI works, as these states get changed, everything populates and changes as well. So this needs to be changed there. So uh, what you get in Swift UI is an at state property wrapper. And doing that now tells us, okay, now this is a property wrapper, great. Now we can change this. So now go ahead and say tap change number and you see it's 20, cool. So I want to dive a little bit deeper and actually show you a property wrapper itself. So you can, let's go up here and make a struct. We're going to name this um, a value squared because it's going to basically square, uh, square the value. And inside of here, we're going to have just one variable. So let's name it private var. Um, and then you want to go ahead and say, let's name it value because the name of the struct is value. This doesn't really matter, um, but we'll name it value and we'll set this to be equal to two for right now. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and create another variable and we're gonna name this wrapped value. Name this of type integer. And then this is gonna be a computer property here and we're gonna do a getter. So get, and we're just going to return. So if we're getting this, we just want it to return uh, the actual value that's up there. Goodness, I cannot type. And then we're gonna do a set or a setter. And what we're gonna do here is actually the math that's involved. So we're gonna do value is now equal, is gonna be equal to the new property or the new value, which let me show you that real quick. New value is an integer in Swift and all this is, is going to be the new value that's passed, which I'll show you in a minute when we actually use it. So value, and then we're going to uh, times that by new value. So that's going to give you a square value. So we're gonna set this value to be whatever new value you pass times the new value, which is going to do a value squared. So that's what this is. Uh, we can even set this to zero because it doesn't really matter. Um, and then up here, the way you use this is you do at property. And then you'll see, oh, I, I capitalized, I'm sorry, property wrapper though. 
So that's how you know that this is now gonna be a property wrapper. Great, so we have our property wrapper created. Let's go ahead and now use it. And real quick, I wanna mention, I you made this private, your state uh, variable. Always make your state variable private as you don't want this um, to be outside of this actual view itself here. You don't want uh, your states to be mixed with other views. That's not the correct way of coding that. So now we're gonna go back into here and we're gonna change this to tap to square number. your is that too long tap to span I don't like that we'll do this tap to square number um because that's what we're going to essentially be doing we're going to be squaring this but inside this button here we now need to tell it this so we're going to do an at and then what did we call that up there valued square and we're able to do valued square now because right here we may we set it to be a property wrapper so now we can do the at sign just like we do here at the state um so you do value square sorry and then you do um var and we're going to name this just new uh value or let's just name it new number so it's not the same up here i don't want you guys getting confused um we're just going to name a new number and then we're going to set that to be of type int See what a comment was. There we go. Now we're going to set this. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do new number, which is what we just created here, is equal to what number do we want to square? So let's just, and you can, in your normal app, you would be able to pass like a random number or whatever you'd like. We're just going to manually do this. So let's square 100. Pretty easy number. We know what that's going to um, equal. And then up here, because we want this to update as well this state property, we want this to equal now this new number. So what should happen is we should pass in 100. And since this is a um, valued square, which is a property wrapper here, it should go in here and set va this value to equal the new number we passed in or the new value. These are the same thing. The new number going up times the new value. So it should give us 1,000, 100 times 100. Let's see if we're able to make that work. So click on it. I'm sorry, I don't know my math. 100 times 10 would be 1,000. 100 times 100 is 10,000. So excuse me for that. So let's go ahead and try a different number. Um, let's do 50. So 50 times 50 is 2,500. So yes, it is working. Let's time try something smaller, like three. Three times three is nine. So that is working. And that's how you create your own property wrapper um, in an instance that you need. My main, uh, my main concept of showing you this is not just so you see state. I know there's a lot of videos going over binding and state. Um, and all, there's all kinds of uh, property wrappers out there. But actually seeing in your own and what exactly is going on behind it. So now we know, hey, as soon as this thing is updated here, as soon as this number gets updated, we pass it, because it's a property wrapper and it's constantly listening. We pass it, handle it, take down the old view, update it with the new view with the new number sitting up here, in this case, nine. Uh, that is what's going on, and I hope you learned something on this, and that's all I got for this video. Uh, if you were able to learn something and take something away from this, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see my upcoming content, ring that bell. And if you have not yet, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel as that helps me get my content out to you and others who may need it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.